Punks of Dramas Part 2. Let's go. Ska Punk. Punk and ska music together. Its origins date back to classic punk. Early ska. Reggae. In two tones. But we'll be skipping to the third wave of ska in the 90s when bands like the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones and Operation Ivy. started infusing ska with punk elements, making some third wave ska bands follow their lead. The drama peaked during mid to late 90s with bands like Sublime, No Doubt, Real Big Fish, Less Than Jake, Achieving mainstream success along with Rancid, Voodoo Glow Skulls, and Link 80. Year, spreading ska punk to other countries. The drama declined in the 2000s but still has its loyal fan base with bands like Streetlight Manifesto, Big D and the Kiss Table, Fatter Than Albert, Post-punk, a very diverse and experimental genre inspired by the punk movement but played the opposite way of how punk music sounds. They're cleaner, less aggressive, heavy on bass and reverb, but they both share the same DIY epics trait. It started in late 70s to early 80s with Wired, Susie's and the Banshees, Public Image, Laying the base for post punk, then Johnny Fisher brought it to the mainstream with unknown pleasures. The assassins all grouped and four lights dancing on the floor. Inspiring other bands like The Cure, oh, say, you will say, The Slits, Gang of Four, It also inspired or gave birth to other dramas like Death Rock, Gothic Rock, Industrial Music, etc. Then the 2000s with post punk revival bands like Interpol with their Turn on the Bright Light. White lines. Block party. Franz Ferdinand. Etc. Modern bands include Silent Age. Arctic Flowers. And many more. Before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe. Your support is my motivation and backbone to continue posting these videos. So please like and subscribe. Now back to the video. Horror punk. Punk that's based on old horror films, being more aggressive and melodic while missing doo wop. And rockabilly. Earliest pioneer are the cramps, adding horror elements and rockability into punk. Off the Bone is a very great example of what I mentioned. The way I smile is just the way I smile. Worth 
check it out as your starting point. Then with the Misfit, the godfather that pushed things further and polished it with Earth AD. Legacy of Brutality. And Walk Among Us. Like all horror films became a music genre, even the mascot is from 1946, The Crimes and Ghosts, a horror film. The Damned, 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 Damned. And Susie's and the Banshees, The Scream. did have a bit of influences in the genre, but they are not horror punk. During 80s, bands became more creepier with their album covers, making faster and more aggressive music, taking the misfit sound to a whole new level. Bands like TSOL with Dance With Me, Sam Hain or Soen with Final Descent, November Coming Fire, and Anitia. The Undead. Morning Noise. Etc. During 90s to 2000s, aka Punk's experimental era and old bands coming back, bands like Groovy Goalies with Appetite for Adrenochrome. Old school sound. Simulator AFI with a fire inside. All hollow. Black cells in the sunset. And the off drowning. Sounding more horror punk with each album, and this is horror punk volume one and volume two, a compilation album featuring tons of great bands. 90s bands include Blitzkid, <laughs> The Crypt Keeper Font, <laughs> Belzac, <laughs> etc. 2000s bands include Blood Sucking Zombies from Outer Space. The other murder dolls, etc. Psycho ability and death rock. Horror Punk 2, but I'm gonna talk about them in future videos. Power Violence, taking blueprints from Hakko Punk's rifting and shouting vocals, <laughs> and Grindcore's brutality, tumble change, and runtime. <laughs> as well as crossing and sharing elements with Cross Punk later on. <laughs> The band Siege are considered as the pioneer with Drop Dead. But the genre starts taking its shape during the late 80s to 90s with Chris Dodge, the frontman of Smash, Slapper Ham Records, signing bands like No Comment, Man is the Bastard. Etc. Along with 625 Fresh Pro label, having bands like What Happens Next, Iron Lung, Charles Bronson, etc. And a Power Violence compilation album, Cry Now Cry Later from Pessimizer Records, run by Chris Elder from Despise You. During the internet era, the genre got major attention having newer bands like Nails, 
Patriot Surge. Soul Flower. We gotta mention its fusion genre emo violence. It mix of power violence and emotional hardcore. They built it in the 90s with bands like Oak Child Inhumanity Reverse of Man And that's part 2 of Punk Genre. Feel free to add your info or recommend your bands in the comment section. I can go in depth in some genres or talk about the mentioned ones in my future videos if you want it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!